a way of making interaction and making contact with the new generation. That is the way actually we can build up the future. Uh, also, I would suggest that um, we could think of honoring one person or if so, few persons of literary achievement of this region each year. It is not of money but of honor that you can make honor somebody uh, for their literary contribution. Uh, and finally, my last uh, suggestion that one publication could be uh, prepared beforehand as because uh, if you can uh, ask all the participants who will register for this year, till next year, they will have to send their poetry in original and official translation. So a publication of original as well as English translation could be a reference book for years to come and also a document of the event, a very fruitful document of the event. With all these suggestions, I again uh, say my our thanks and also special regard to Odyssey and uh, of course pray for her long life and active long life. So we did like
Minutes are the same. A proposal on making this form about interaction. At the point in time, how we do it, we will take the details on our first call chain under the leadership of Martin. Uh, to add, since Martin has mentioned that I did a point two, two, two nights ago, especially for Martin, and I would like to take the opportunity to relate to Martin to honor our, our mother here. The point is that the inaccurate mother's love. The colorful day faded as ardently as it really. I guess I was overtly excited by all the points that were recited. The night came too fast. I truly don't want it to last. The metropolitan noise is subsiding, but in my heart, a great joy is residing. The joy of an immaculate mother's love, that all life's heartaches dissolve. Her pure and unmistakable smiles, that will fill the contest, that will fill the contest of life's minds. Such are the true mothers, whose love never withers. Such is the nature of an icon whose nature every soul must take on. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Rindan. Uh, I have taken your suggestions, I have not come to your suggestions, but if we have interactive sessions, so we would need more of listeners than actually speakers. So we'll have no less number of speakers to make it more interactive and others can listen and they may get some other chance. Another thing I want to point out to uh, Yeah, we we'll have parallel sessions. Uh, we'll have parallel sessions. From next time we'll, we'll plan like that to have parallel sessions. So that you know we have more group discussions and you know poetry exchanges. Etc. Et and uh, secondly, one, one more thing I must know many people get very angry if they are not invited the second year. Here, actually, the, it's not a sort of club with fixed membership. People are all each year they are rotated so that newer and newer people can participate. So, if your name is not uh, one year, do not get very disappointed and angry. And think that we are being dropped out. No, we are not being dropped out, but other people also need to come here and see. So, this is how you know many people, you know, newer people come. Now, I invite the uh, Professor Abhis Subedi from Nepal. My name is Didi and I'm uh, present here. Uh, I think people have said already, made recommendations also. I just would like to draw everybody's attention to the question of historicity. While we're talking about this Moshwa and Didi, I call it Didi. Uh, the historicity part here, who should remember how it all started? I recently wrote an article uh, and published it in the which I mentioned earlier also. At the time of the Bean Snake, the conference in Armando, I had a very quick discussion with some of the Bean Snake thinkers, think tank, tankers. And I questioned them, what are your plans about setting up, establishing some literary, artistic organizations? They don't have nothing. They have nothing. Zero. And I reminded them of what she did for the SARP and how SARP has remained indifferent to this most important aspect of uh, creating organizations of literature and art for so many years. Because the richest reason of this, about in terms of culture, literature and arts, why did you give a damn 
through you being this parochial expression. Why do you think it is there? If she had this, this, I call her crusader in that article. It's not just a crusade. Crusade in the sense that nobody bothered about it. It was like not in the agenda. It didn't occur in the mind of anybody at that time, among the foreigners of Saab. And she sort of became, I will witness, I will go to bed with you, I will let me spoil when you spoke. I will, I from the very beginning, I have seen how she had lost this and why I call her, endeavor her efforts to crusade. She is a crusader. And I questioned them with her example. And I have written copies many articles about that. This is a matter of historicity. So coming down to the modality of the conference, and what we, could, what we could do about it, there can be a number of discussions. We can discuss. Some of the ideas we came up with, we proposed are something that should be, um, should be developed to organizations which are strongly funded by the SAAP or South Asia in organizations, which are strongly funded. So they should create seminars, they should create faculty, they should create different departments and bring people for interaction. Interaction is an important part of any seminar. This post war seminars have, without being interacting, have only advantage. I see that the, the advantage is the creating anarchy. When somebody is presenting here, people are people start interacting. We always interact talk, nobody listens to people presenting poems or papers and so, but I take that all positively. I'm a theatre person. You can get noise coming from everywhere. Somebody talking here, standing and inter exchanging interaction. That is why there's a theatrical noise. So why this modality emerged? This emerged because she gave this institution this kind of patronage, help, supporting people, feeding people, paying. Some Air fair and people come here. That is why this emerges. This emerges. This didn't emerge as an institution. This is not an institution. So I don't want to give any suggestion. My favorite, one of my favorite place, Nandini is Professor Nandini Sam. Uh, she was just telling me that if we want to make it very interactive, the number should be cut down to 30. 30 or 35, and so people should see 10 balls every day, interact with each other. That's a totally different model. Then you will lose this anarchy, this creative explosion, this creative anarchy. But out of this anarchy also, we could try to bring some order. That is true. That is very fine. We could do that. But without bringing any disciplinary modality, who will, will take care of that? Sechi, Praveen, Sumar, Dr. Sumar, who will take care of something? So this is the question of management also, and the question of what we are doing now. And coming to this stage, the other point, the last point I say, is it promise to say the last point and make five, six points. So that's, I make the last point. The last point is that the modernity, the variety. The variety that Didi has addressed, she developed this idea. Like, this is not a literary conference. We should not forget about that. Amnesia is a great disease. We should not suffer from amnesia. What she has done? She has organized in India on this very promising premises a very historical folklore congress. Prominent folklorists of this region and world attended. Proceedings have been published. And Sufi conference at uh, Jaipur. Sufi conference. We even he said that, I think in one of his speeches, some of the Sufi performers were those who were fished out by our literary members of the Sakra organization, some shy, quiet ladies. They went to the villages and brought the dancers out of the villages. And that was the first time they had seen the vehicles for the first time. Those people came and performed at Jayapur. This is not a mean achievement. This is a tremendous achievement. This is a kind of creative power explosion. So this was what happens in that also we should not forget that. Interactions, so many interactions have taken place. People have been 
present the seminar papers and discussion. I have seen that. But by with the years, I think because of the numbers and the, the time limitation, etc., etc., this became a question of preference. What do you want to do? As a professor um, and academic, I would like to have a session that definitely is small, interacting all the time and so on. But I would prefer this kind of anarchic interaction sometimes, not always. People talking and you know, people exchanging ideas and coming together. So uh, this time has also been very productive. To see now the very last one. The one I'm saying this is the last one. A professor's third last one. The, the very last thing is who is going to take it over? Who are the managers? What are they thinking about this organization? What are they thinking about the management part? What are they thinking, thinking about, the, about, about the funding part? What are they thinking about setting up the organization? What are they thinking about institutionalizing what she has given all her life to create it? Who is it? In the name of Sarvika. And this is the great test service that anyone can render by creating this creative atmosphere, bringing creative minds together and uh, with these viewers, I will make it the last. Thank you. And uh, about the beam stage, beam stage, I have already you know, passed the tradition to a DG that we can think about incorporating beam stake and SARC together to have a you know, greater audience and a uh, greater funding and everything. And uh, as you, as Abhi just said now about the funding, now the not only SARC region, beam stake region is also, now all of us are quite uh, rich. All of the region in Nepal or in India. Who will contact them? We will come to it, those nitty gritties a bit later. But the Sajjan region doesn't develop. Yeah. So now people have enough money and South, South Asia is very comfortable. So think about of my suggestion of paying a registration fee of 5,000 rupees. How many of you would agree? So that it goes on in a great and grand scale and not only uh, Arpuna or the ministry have to bear the entire cost of uh, this endeavor. So I think all of us can bear and those who cannot and they are very good poets, they can write and uh, they can be exempted also. But by the law, people should, should be able to give 5,000 rupees as registration fee to meet various expenses, their hotel, their you know, lodging and you know. 5,000 hotel? 5,000 is not even... Yeah, 5,000 will not even meet the hotel, but then we have other funding also. So, we will explore that. So, at 5,000 or then all little more, you can think of. And those who can afford should bear their own hotel cost. Hotel cost also. To think about that. Because since we are short of funds, we will be withdrawing some of the the you know goodies that we have been offering. So we uh, let's, you know think about that. How can you help SARS so that it grows and goes on very well? So you think about that and uh, registration fee. How many of you disagree with the registration fee idea? How many of you? No registration fee? Should yeah, should be. No, I am asking who, who says it it should not be. The lone voice and so she stands cancelled. The loan, there is only one loan boy. So she stands cancelled. Although she has a huge butter. Everyone wants to give a registration fee and thank you very much. Nobody opposed. And uh, now the next uh, Yeah. So well that that will also come but uh, and now, uh, I think I invite uh, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan. Now I invite Sumeda from Sri Lanka for a group of time. Your name is Sumeda. Spell it. Sumodu. Okay. And I invite Kanchana. No, no, 
Come on. You want to think I'm not going to come. Come on. This young lady can come. Come on. Give me. Come on. 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 Come on.
for Dr. Paul and the team in the good treatment of the night vision and the third degree. Thank you. Now I invite <coughs> Dr. Amandai to see a few words and a book of hands.
I hope no country is left by any chance. You wanted to give some suggestion? Yeah, please come. Yes, Abhi. Abhi is sitting here. Abhi should sit there. Uh, Abhi. Abhi. Why you are not sitting there? There has to be a photo of that. Huh? Come here. Yes. Ah, yeah. You want to say something? Good afternoon. Mother Turkey and uh, honorable delegations. I have one suggestion about this booklet. If uh, this is uh, printed like about this manner, it will be better. Maybe uh, the pages will, will be used by this manner. And if we print it by this manner, uh, uh, we can keep it for a long time in libraries with ourselves. Also, one uh, suggestion uh, uh, to uh, write the telephone numbers, email address, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, others, this, and uh, this information. This information of the right will be updated and write the same information. And one thing more, if uh, this book uh, published through uh, the football website, it will be better. Uh, also, my suggestion is to write uh, the football literature like South Asian literature. Um, 55 uh, football. Yeah, and the number of uh, in AOB session, the number of the Nobel Prize is in the middle. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much. We have noted all the traditions, and I am very happy that all of us agree to give a registration fee of 5,000 and bear our total cost as as much as possible. Uh, although you know Atma Kaur Ji is saying <laughs> she's a known voice in wilderness, but anyway we will we'll see that later on. <coughs> <coughs> we can think of doing fundraising. Huh? You are very good in that I know. <laughs> I know you are very good in fundraising. So you you will raise funds for those all to
So my thanks to them also. I hope any representative from the Institute of Excellence are here. And uh, then I will thank Gita Chandran and her crew for the excellent performance at the Indian International Center to entertain all of us and the group of Kathak dancers who also for the love of their you know sad delegates, all these people, sad citizens who are assembled here, they perform their dances to entertain us. So those girls, the girls and boys. And then I thank Indra Gandhi National Center of Arts for making such a beautiful documentary yesterday, which is actually, you know, which encourages you know, coming together of different cultures, different kinds of people, different religious backgrounds in rejoicing life, in celebrating life. Celebration is common to all. And that can be, you know, one of the points where everyone joins each other. So I thank Molly Koshal, who on the behalf of Indra Gandhi National Center of Arts exhibited that beautiful movie and she was the director of that movie. And uh, so with this, we complete our Thanksgiving and noted all the traditions, including your sir, that it should be more on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and, uh, and the email numbers of all the delegates will be there in print in the book so that they can correspond with each other. And uh, <clears throat> now a resolution is prepared for uh, which I will read. The resolution has been prepared by Abhi, Dr. Abhi Zulevi, and I will read and uh, if you approve we can pass it, or if you want any changes, we can make the changes also. So I will read that. We, the writers, artists, thinkers, media people, and social activists who have assembled here at Delhi to participate in our 55th mega event, South Asian Literature Festival, from October 4 to 7, 2018, are fully involved in understanding the character and dynamism of historical transformations, efforts made towards reconciliation, leading to a state of peace and tranquility in the region within and beyond borders. We, the socially conscious created people of South Asian countries, are aware of the factors leading to the destabilization of the societies. Together, we stand against the forces of such destabilization, women, children and marginalized, disenfranchised people are equal partners in human civilization and in the task of making creative contribution to the societies. Minorities at the religious, racial and linguistic level are much a part of our civilization and culture as others. Diversity is a boom, which is a mantra of our syncretic energy. We respect it. We adore each other as neighbors and friends who live in the region and outside. We adore each other, that's true. Yes. Let us work together for equality, tranquility in fostering creative energy and creating fearless societies free of agitation and hostilities. Together, we thank Mr. Jeet Kaur for her love and hospitality we pray for a long, happy, and healthy life. So this is the resolution. And if you have any suggestion to improve or change, you give us a yeah, please. Well, we can suggest our governments of South Asian region to waive passport uh, for visa system for South, all of our South Asian region, for all the people. But that is a different, uh, you know, uh, for that different forum will be required and different, uh, you know, uh, 
constraints are there, but we wish, we wish, we can say we wish, we wish that such something happens. Because you know these are the governmental matters where you know, they have to take a call. And they are very reciprocal things. And uh, they are, we, we wish, I I to the tradition, we wish, wish a visa free, visa free, sad region. Thank you. I will do with that. Any other? Sir? It's not regarding the visa. Yeah, no, please come here. Come here. Lunch and how to 
Ah, yeah. And uh, now I have to tell you that uh, lunch is waiting for you. Uh, and uh, the body does not forget about lunch. And it's not being hot, that you should uh, savor it now. And after lunch, at 2.30, there is high scene.